It's the time of year when most of us get into the spirit of the holidays. Mariah Carey's hits are on repeat, homes and businesses are decked in red and green, everyone seems to be busy, planning and shopping for the big feast, I'm talking about Christmas of course, tis the season. But imagine an uninvited guest turning up at your doorstep. The kind of guest that would blow away those decorations, induce widespread flooding and power outages. Come on, that's the last thing that any of us would expect in the jolly season. But what are the odds of a tropical cyclone forming and affecting land in the month of December? Let's take a couple steps back and journey to the only time there was such an occurrence in modern days, after which we'll take a look at conditions that influence development and whether they may be supportive of a tropical system actually forming this December. Note that there have been tropical cyclones that developed in November but were still active in December, but we'll strictly be taking a look at the only tropical cyclone of recent times that developed in the month of December and affected the Caribbean. Before we get into it, let's get the wheels of your brain churning with this question. Save the answer as it will be discussed in the latter part of this video. The question is, which hurricane was the strongest in the Atlantic Basin since Wilma of 2005? Now let's get back to the video. December 2003 uh, About 5 months before I came into the world, that was the last time there was a tropical storm that developed in the Caribbean within the festive month. On the 4th, a new tropical cyclone developed from the tail of a front that stalled in the Caribbean and was boosted by a tropical wave, a weak one at that which moved into the area. With developing convection, counterclockwise rotation and sustained wind increase in based on satellite estimates, Tropical Storm Odette formed. It was the 15th named storm of the 2003 Atlantic hurricane season and was the first Caribbean storm that formed in December since modern records began and even to this day, Odette holds on to that record. It moved generally to the northeast and brought with it a lot of heavy rainfall and tropical storm conditions to the Dominican Republic where it made landfall on December 6th with peak winds up to 60 miles per hour. As it relates to impacts, even before Odette was official, there were periods of heavy rain across parts of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama and Colombia. And while a tropical storm in the Dominican Republic, flooding and mudslide events took eight lives and many crops, homes, businesses and infrastructure suffered some level of damage. Eventually, as Odette continued its journey through the Dominican Republic, it weakened and was subsequently absorbed into a frontal zone. The main fuel that a tropical cyclone needs to get going is very warm surface waters where widespread evaporation occurs to develop those thunderstorms. However, development is only successful if other atmospheric conditions are conducive for it long enough to enable further intensification. Environmental conditions typically get pretty hostile towards the end of the hurricane season and during the off-season months as there is an increase in winds which inhibit development, increased atmospheric stability as well as surface water is getting cooler. However, that is not always the case because as we saw with Odette, conditions may be just right to actually allow a brief tropical cyclone to develop. During other off-season months, January through May, there have also been tropical cyclones, May being the month with the most storms, 50 tropical or subtropical cyclones to date. Right now in the Caribbean, waters are still very warm and even above average across much of the region. As a result, similar dynamics to what happened with Odette would allow a chance, albeit a small chance, of seeing development in December. It is a very rare occurrence as it's been nearly 20 years since that happened. But let us see if 2023 is determined to be a part of that history. There is absolutely no guarantee of development. However, meteorologists are constantly monitoring weather activity to keep you abreast with what is going on across the tropics. I hope you haven't forgotten your answer to the aforementioned question because now we're getting straight into it. The question was, which hurricane was the strongest in the Atlantic Basin since Wilma of 2005? 
Still have no idea? Here is a hint. It developed four years ago in the 2019 Atlantic hurricane season. The answer is the catastrophic hurricane Dorian. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Dorian was a brutal Cat 5 monster that sat over the Northwest Bahamas for more than 48 hours while it strengthened into one of the most powerful hurricanes in history. Peak sustained winds were up to 185 miles per hour and gusts were well over 200 miles per hour. The hurricane caused more than $5 billion in damages and took the lives of more than 80 individuals, but many people are still unaccounted for to this day. Due to its devastation, the name Dorian was retired by the World Meteorological Organization from rotating lists and will never be used again for an Atlantic tropical cyclone. It was replaced with Dexter, which may be used for the first time in the 2025 hurricane season. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. Until next time!